I kind of felt led to come down here and make a video. A video that I'm going to call A Walk in the Woods. I would like to do more of these videos. And as the Lord leads me with different topics, I'd like to take the time to come down and share those topics with you. We all need to find that special place where we can go and talk to God. A place where we can talk directly to Him. A quiet place where we can hear what He has to say to us. You know, in Matthew chapter 6, it gives us the directions that when you go and pray, go into a room and shut the door and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father who sees you in secret will reward you. Jesus knew the importance of being alone with the Father. He knew the importance of getting off by himself. You know, in the book of Mark, it says that in the morning... Jesus would rise early and go out before the day and find a solitary place and there he would pray. All through scripture, we find where Christ would leave the crowds and go up into the mountain alone or would withdraw into a desolate place and pray. And it's important for us to find our spot that we go and talk with God. You know, I've never been an early morning person. I'm not the type of person who rises before the sun. In fact, I'm probably like a lot of you. I set my alarm clock just enough time to get up and get dressed to get to work. But it doesn't matter if it's early in the morning or in the evening. It doesn't matter the time of day. See, God is there. God is there ready to listen to us. We just find that quiet moment. But it's not just about going and talking with God. Yeah, that's important. But it's more about listening to what God has to say to us. You know, being outside gives you a good opportunity to see the skies. The blue, beautiful skies, the, the birds, nature. You know, <clears throat> God made everything. And he created it for us, for us to enjoy, for us to take care of. When I'm outside and look up toward the sky, I think of Psalms chapter 19, verse 1. It says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the skies proclaim the work of His hands. You know, Isaiah talks about the heavens were laid out by the span of God's hand kind of puts it all in perspective of just how big God is and just how small we are you know one thing about being outside and being in the woods I can hear the birds chirping an interesting thing about listening to that draws my attention to what it says in the book of Matthew chapter 10 it says you know if two sparrows are sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside the Father's care. A sparrow. I mean, when you think about it, a little tiny sparrow won't fall to the ground without the Father above knowing it. If he cares that much about the sparrows in the woods, imagine what he thinks about you. You know, God loves you more than you'll ever know. In fact, He loves you so much that He sent a Savior, Jesus Christ, to come and pay the penalty for my sin and your sin. So I would encourage you to find that spot. Be alone with God and talk with Him. <clears throat> 